Today's home is a brand new inventory home and it has one of my favorite features in the kitchen. Look at this guys, the cabinets with the pull out drawers. My back is already saying thank you, thank you, thank you. All right guys, stay tuned. This is a great new inventory home. Orlando and today we are out here on a beautiful Monday out here in Winter Garden Florida and this home that we're going to tour today is an inventory home almost complete not a hundred percent so ignore tape you might see on the wall but it gives us a good opportunity to talk about those final walkthroughs and what you could expect so today we're going to tour this Laurel inventory home it's one of the few and final remaining homes here in a community winter garden called Oxford Chase and it's located here at the end of a cul-de-sac as well so um, a lot of people like the location because being in a cul-de-sac first of all the only people coming down your street should be the people that live here and being at the end of the cul-de-sac really is nice because you kind of only have the one neighbor all right so this inventory home again it's almost complete so we're going to talk about kind of the stage that this home is in it is ready to go with the with the exception of the last few final cosmetic touch-ups so as we go through you might see blue tape and you might see green tape a little tidbit here if you didn't already know when you do walkthroughs with builders here toward the end any blue tape on the wall is going to be um, noting a paint touch up that needs to be taken care of and anything with green tape typically notifies um, the drywall trades that they need to come in and do a touch up as well so a little tidbit there so when you do walkthroughs you're going to probably have your builder have two color coded tapes and that's why all right little tidbit free for the next time you're on jeopardy okay so let's tour this home it is beautiful this is a four bedroom laurel now i have another video of another laurel inventory home actually literally across the street that has a bonus room option and it's a great way for you to look at those two videos kind of back to back to see the differences in the structural options and design but specifically the structural options that have been chosen for each of these homes so this one is actually a one story no bonus room but it also has four bedrooms and three bathrooms and this one and we'll talk about it in a minute they've done a bedroom suite bedroom with its own private bathroom option in lieu of the office which is what is across the street so let's take a look at this layout both of them by the way have this dining room so this is a great one-story floor plan where you haven't sacrificed this extra space um some people like the dining room some people don't need the dining room but i will tell you that the extra square footage and the extra space is absolutely very welcomed by pretty much everybody so as soon as you've entered in you have this dining room over here to your right take a look at the flooring because this is a beautiful wide planked dark wood plank flooring it is gorgeous it is extended throughout the entire living area here as well super beautiful little things we're going to point out it also has blinds it's, you'll see the lighting fixtures and things like that as we tour the home as well so beautiful front entryway as we come in dining room is over here so over to this side this is actually your foyer now i love the front door on this i just want you to take a quick peek because of the exterior elevation that kind of warrants certain kind of windows and window um, treatment or design and i really love this type of elevation with those windows so nice big long entryway over here so right over here is going to be the first of our four bedrooms this one is located up front nice big generous sized bedroom it has a nice closet and it has its own bathroom with a shower no tub but it has a shower so in the other laurel floor plan if again if you're going to look back at both videos to kind of compare and contrast in the other home this was actually an office with glass paned french doors so here they've opted to make this a bedroom with its own private bathroom super smart see what i mean here about the tape the green and the blue green drywall blue paint it's really cool right all right so now we come into the main hub of the home and i really love the design choices that have already been chosen and installed here in this inventory home first of all you already have your stainless refrigerator you have gray cabinets with this beautiful granite countertop as well and one of my favorite things is that it is also uh, the gourmet kitchen style so you have your gas community by the way your gas range you have your hood vent up above almost done still waiting for the little cover over there you have the gourmet kitchen but look at this i'm really excited that they um, opted to install these cabinets with the pull out drawers this is fabulous i'm so excited about this this is a great option 
Perfect, lovely, lovely, lovely cabinets, and I love that you can pull them out. Okay, so again, you've got all of your cabinets and counters. This is an incredibly deep island, by the way. It's, it's just slightly over my wingspan. It's also pre-wired for three pendant lights, and one of my other things I like to point out is over here. So if you look underneath of the island, you actually have more storage underneath the island. I wish more builders did this, and I guess you can't um, all the time unless you have an extra deep island, because you do typically have your dishwasher on that side. But what's really nice is if you have this extra deep island and you have that storage, it is such a great spot for like those serving dishes and things like that that just kind of eat, room, uh, eat the room in your cabinets. Over here is your walk-in pantry. So you have a nice big pantry here directly, um, you know, right across from, from, from the kitchen and the refrigerator area itself. Again, we talked about the pendant lights. And then right here, you'll notice that there is a lighting fixture here as well. So this is essentially where you would put your day-to-day -day dining table. You would put your, you know, your smaller table, just everyone has breakfast, lunch, dinner together right here. Don't forget though that you do have that dining room. And I've actually heard a lot of my clients saying that in layouts that are very similar to this, they opt to get rid of this as an eating area, add it to the living area, and utilize that dining as their day-to-day -day because it is absolutely right there and quickly and easily accessible. So just food for thought. But right here is kind of your, your designated um, by design eating area. And this, of course, is your family room area. This layout is so beautiful. I love this is a quadruple one, two, three slider here. You have the transom windows up above. And bonus for you, look at this. This lanai is already screened in. So it's screened in. You have a big, beautiful backyard. This um, location, this lot location, you can see it's actually, um, it back backs up to, to, the, to the road that goes into the community, but you've already got the brick wall there that is a great barrier. FYI, the elementary school and the middle school are literally across the street, so your kids would be walking to school if you had kids, um, and this was the house that you chose. So that was bedroom number one. Over here we have bedrooms two and three. Again, they're very comparable in size. You've got a really light gray, I guess it's a gray, it's kind of like a gray tan-ish kind of a feel, which is great because it's perfectly coordinated with the flooring and with the cabinets as well. So you have um, bedroom two, you have bedroom three. Let's take a look at bedroom three and then we'll look at the bathroom. Bedroom three is laid out a little bit differently because it's almost like it has its own little hallway entryway with a closet over here. And then you have this room and you'll notice here there's no obstructed wall space. Kind of a unique way that this room is laid out. Full wall, full wall, wall with the window and another full wall. So lots of usable wall space because this is almost like a little hallway into the bedroom and over here is the actual closet. So just kind of keep that in mind a little bit. And then of course here's the bathroom. You'll notice in the bathroom that you've got the continued um, gray cabinets and you've got the uh, granite countertops. You've got two sinks but you've got really cool tile flooring in there as well. So very nice. Uh, linen closet is right here. And then let's go to the actual entryway um, from the garage because it's always important to point out. So your two car garage here, but this is your iconic Madame entryway. They always give you these lovely white shelves, USB ports, and then there's hooks that go up underneath. So it's a great drop spot as soon as you come in. There's also another uh, closet back in there. Now the master is over here along with another closet as well as uh, your AC handler as well as the laundry room. So laundry room is back behind me and if you might notice that there is already the washer and dryer in here. So there's three major appliances that are already in this home, a washer, a dryer, and a refrigerator. Those are three appliances that do not typically come with homes. It can be a relatively large expense, several thousand dollars, so having those already installed not only means the home is ready for you to go as soon as you move in, move in but it also means that there's no chance of the, anything getting banged up as it um, is delivered and installed. This is the master bedroom, and I want you to notice the floor in the master, guys. The master bedroom also has this wood flooring. It's really beautiful. The continuity of this flooring all throughout this Laurel Floor Plant Inventory Home is amazing. You also have the tray ceiling over here. They've also decided to add the private lanai entry uh, door here as well. So from your master bedroom, you actually can utilize this door and have your own private little access out there to the lanai. Really nice, sit out there. Imagine if you built a pool or did some kind of an outdoor living space really nice I love the accessibility now this closet this closet is pretty amazing when you go into this closet you can notice that it goes back really deep 
So it's a really, really long, deep closet, lots of storage in here. And again, they've continued the same flooring in the closet. And now let's take a look at the master bathroom. So the master bathroom also has the same tile that we saw in the secondary bathrooms, same gray cabinets with the darker hardware, same granite countertops. You have the garden tub with tile surround. You have a beautiful shower with a really gorgeous listello around it as well. And you also have the glass corner shelves. So back over here, you're going to have your privacy door for your toilet. I tell you what, this home absolutely has everything. This is uh, 2,339 square feet, I believe, four bedrooms, three full baths, gorgeous upgraded flooring, gray cabinets, granite countertops, gourmet kitchen. Oh my goodness, there's just so many things to see here in this home. So this home again is located in Winter Garden. This home is nearly complete really, really, really close. Doesn't take long for those traits to come in here and do those final touch-ups. Um, and one of the things that I really, really like about this is that the builders come through multiple times and, and they mark things themselves. So this home really is in the very final stages. So if you are looking for a home here in the Winter Garden area, but you don't have time to build, but you still wanna reap all the benefits of new construction, you still wanna have that builder's warranty, you wanna still have a home that's brand new, crisp and clean and ready for you, this might be a good option. All right, if you are interested, if you like this video, give me a call please at 407-848-8042. Remember, I do not work for or represent these builders. I'm a realtor here working for you actually. So please give me a call and let me continue that process. It's really important. There are so many homes, so many communities, so many options here in this area that if you're not from this area, it's really important to have someone who knows the area and can really help guide you to make sure that you are looking at every possible opportunity. I would love to be that person. And remember, it's completely free to have me as your buyer agent. So again, call me 407-848-8042. Also, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. I appreciate you. More than anything, I wanna tell you I appreciate you, I thank you, and I want you all to stay well. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Happy house hunting.